Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And it's been a while. Uh, it's been about four months since I last posted a video. Uh, this one today is a bit of an explanation on why I haven't been posting videos, what's happened, where I've been, what we've been up to, how's training going, sort of a bit of a recap, I guess. So back end of last year, uh, December was the last video. After that, I slowed training down a little, a little bit around Christmas. I took a couple of weeks off, uh, just enjoyed eating food, enjoyed Christmas time, enjoyed resting. And then New Year's Eve, uh, I got an infection in my leg. It's happened to me three times before, twice before, something like that. Same place in my leg and uh, went on a course of antibiotics. They didn't work. So unfortunately, I had to go in for surgery. Uh, and that surgery then basically cut a hole in my leg sorted the infection out but then the recovery piece from that was several weeks of going back to the nurses getting the wound dressed and repacked this obviously had a quite a bit of an impact on my training um i couldn't train i couldn't train at all for a few weeks and then i couldn't train leg uh specific workouts for quite a while as well so i didn't really want to have the additional pressure of trying to get videos out a lot of my videos obviously the progress of my training how that's going um and you know working towards the competitions i've got so I didn't want that additional pressure while trying to recover from my leg injury uh, and infection and uh, surgery. So that, that's sort of the first reason I didn't post anything. Thankfully, I've recovered from that. I'm now back to heavy, heavy training again. My legs are coming along great there. You know, there's, there's no uh, upset of, of whether the surgery was or anything like that. So that's really good news. Um, since then, I've also been streaming on Twitch. Uh, it's the same name as here. It's Alex McCauley. Uh, literally, it's Alex McCauley or one word, I'll drop the link in below. If you do want to check it out, it's a bit spontaneous when I do stream on there, but generally speaking, I, I stream two, three, four times a week. My workouts, um, which are various things at the minute, but mostly uh, squat bench deadlift focused each day uh, to, to make sure I hit those big lifts and get my lifts where I am. The great thing about my leg injury, if you can find a great thing in this, is my upper body work and my bench press has been absolutely flying. I've hit a couple of B PBs recently. They're only small PBs, I'm taking it easy. Um, but yeah, they've been going great. I'll post a couple of clips for you to watch of those PBs as well as I'm sure I'll put a few clips in here of how my training on my legs is going as well, building up that strength bit by bit. Uh, my coach worked with me quite closely to do some leg rehab specific work. So it was a lot of tempo work, pause work, really low weights, but really a lot of time under tension to build up those, th those legs again, build the strength back in those legs. And now we're back onto the heavy weights, feeling a lot more confident under there. And I've also implemented heavy singles. Um, so throughout my three main workouts of the week, I'll do on one day, I'll do a heavy squat single. On another day, I'll do a heavy bench single. And another day, I'll do a heavy deadlift single. It's just to keep my body used to those that heavy work uh, and used to that heavy weight either under me or beneath me or, or whatever it is and just get used to it in my hands. So when I do come around to a competition, uh, I, I'm sort of still acclimatized to that and I, I haven't got too much to worry about. And I've also been using those singles to sort of dictate how that training goes. So when I do a heavy single, if it feels really easy, then I'll make my training a little bit harder that, that day. I'll up the weight slightly. If it feels really hard, sluggish, deadlift, for instance, then, you know, I'll taper the weights a little bit less just, just to make sure I hit those rep, rep ranges and I keep the confidence high. I mentioned competitions. I've got a tentative date now for a, a physical competition. 18th of July, 2021. Uh, fingers crossed it goes ahead in the UK. It's about half hour away from me in York. So that'll be my first physical competition ever. So really fingers crossed we get that going. That's the date I'm aiming towards my next peak. Uh, as I've always said, as I did last year, you know, worst case, it does get canceled. It doesn't go ahead or whatever, or I can't make that date. There's another date in August that if I don't make the July one, I'll go for the August one. If that doesn't happen, then I will still do a mock meet at home. I'll record it, I'll stream it, whatever. I'll do something with it. Uh, to, to get as close as I can to that competition and that feeling of that. And that's pretty much where I'm up to, where the home gym is. Um, there'll be a video coming out shortly around uh, the home gym transformation, some information about what I would have done differently, the costs of it all. I've promised these videos for a very long time. Um, I've only just got around to recording them and now found sort of some time, works from a very busy, so finding some time outside of that and outside of my training to, to get these videos sourced and edited and all that. So keep your eyes up for that. They, they'll be um, coming shortly. And then I guess the only last thing to touch on is sort of the future of this channel, what I want to do with it. I think in the short term, I'm going to focus on sort of 
uh, not specifically my training videos, but maybe just anecdotal videos or uh, interesting topics I think of, or if you've got any questions you want answered, I could do a video around them, whatever it might be. It probably won't be training focused because I'm doing that on Twitch. Uh, I'm streaming that because I find that a bit more interactive as well. It's quite quite good fun. Um, so if you do have Twitch, uh, come join me there. Come see me work out there and come say hi. But that's sort of, I think, everything on my mind. This was, yeah, completely just sort of rattled off the top of a bit of an update of where we are and where we're going. Uh, I mean, I hope you stick around. I hope you join me on my journey. When I do get towards the competitions and stuff, I will be recording that. That will be something that goes on YouTube because I'm hoping the competitions will be streamed on their own platform so you can watch it on the day. But for those who can't, I will try and record that as best I can with my partner, Annette, helping me out on that footage uh, and give an insight of what my first actual physical meet and in these strange times, how all that comes together, how that feels, how I go through it. You know, what goes through my head, that sort of stuff. So there will be some lifting focused videos as well. And like I say, I hope you join me on that journey. Uh, but for now, uh, I'll leave it at that. If you do want to stick around for the future of my journey, whatever that might be on YouTube, if I've enticed you ever so slightly, feel free to subscribe. It is completely free and it does make me very, very happy. Uh, I think we're currently on 200 subscribers, which I never thought we'd ever hit. I mean, I remember when I was on like 70 and I was really trying to get 100. So, you know, 200, double that, amazing. It's completely free to do. It made me very happy. Feel free to do it. The button's just, just there. The big red one, just click that. Easy peasy. And uh, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you all stay safe and stay well throughout this uh, interesting time. And that's it for now, as always. Bye! Fucking four! Read the markers. Woo! Woo! Third rep to show that weight. It's a bitch! Get out.